This is your latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service in San Diego. This is meteorologist Alex Tardy. We'll talk about the tropical moisture that's in place now across Southern California and has brought significant showers and thunderstorms, especially to the mountains and deserts. Then this moisture will linger through the week, so we'll talk about the chances for more showers and thunderstorms, especially on Tuesday and on Thursday for the remainder of this week. This video is about four minutes long. Here's a look at the highlights for the week. Please take a look at each one carefully. On Monday today, extensive cloud cover, but we still expect isolated showers and thunderstorms for late today. Partial clearing on Tuesday with scattered thunderstorms developing, especially in the mountains and deserts. You can see some locally heavy rain. Mostly sunny on Wednesday with isolated thunderstorms continuing for the desert slopes and mountains. Then we look for increasing clouds with showers becoming fairly widespread and scattered thunderstorms Thursday into Friday. Additional rainfall locally heavy with one to three inches in some of the heavy thunderstorms for the mountains, foothills, and desert slopes all the way into the desert floor. Let's take a look at that tropical moisture that's in place. The red shows the deep moisture that streamed up to Southern California over the past 48 hours or past two days thanks to the mid-level flow coming from the south as the arrow shows drawing that moisture northward towards Southern California and then into Arizona and the Intermountain West. What's it look like on a regular satellite photo? Well this is an infrared photo. You can see the clouds are quite extensive this morning extending across Southern California into Utah and Eastern Nevada. This extensive cloud cover will initially suppress a lot of our thunderstorms but we do see some clearing coming in from the southeast and that could help our deserts later this afternoon and then especially on Tuesday as a lot of this cloud cover lifts northward and out of the region. A lot of light showers have occurred under these clouds a little bit heavier across eastern areas such as our mountains overnight. What about the tropical storm Ivo? It washed out across the Baja region. Here are some statistics from the storm in terms of its last location that was documented off the west central part of Baja as a weakening surface low pressure area. This is what it looks like on the map, the low pressure area well to the southwest of San Diego was left basically to dissolve over the cooler waters just off of Baja. The radar image shown on this morning weather map shows the precipitation that occurred over eastern San Diego County overnight and now in Riverside and San Bernardino counties continuing to lift north towards Las Vegas. Some precipitation totals shown here amounts anywhere as high as three to four inches across the desert and mountain peaks. Most of this rainfall occurred yesterday. You can see on the edges lighter rainfall but significant rainfall all the way into La Quinta in the Coachella Valley where there was flash flooding. What does it look like on a map? Here is a GIS precipitation map over the past couple days. Again, most of this rainfall on Sunday. You can see extensive rainfall in red and purple just north of Borrego and north of the Salton Sea and some heavier rain near Julian as well. What's our weather story? Well, showers and thunderstorms, mainly inland areas for today through tonight as the moisture continues to stream northward. Looks like due to the cloud cover, some of this thunderstorm activity will be suppressed, but we do expect some clearing to move into San Diego County. So we'll watch that area for additional thunderstorms later today. All right, here's a look at our weather pattern. What's causing this precipitation and the moisture to be in place over Southern California? Upper level low system is moving up from the Baja this morning and bringing all the subtropical moisture with it. Large high pressure system over the central plains, the counterclockwise flow drawing that moisture northward. Now later this week on Thursday we do expect another disturbance coming up from Mexico and near the Baja region to basically put a little buckle in the wind flow on Thursday and lift across Southern California for a even better chance for showers and thunderstorms on Thursday and then this disturbance will move around the high pressure area towards the jet stream in the southerly flow on Friday 
and then we'll start a drying trend after that. Here's the forecast for precipitation for mainly this week. You can see the desert areas and the mountain slopes. Could see an additional one to two inches of rain and locally heavier. And then the western areas of San Diego County and Riverside County up into San Bernardino County. Much lighter precipitation. Some areas just some sprinkles. Other areas seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Again, the best chance looks like to be on Tuesday and then again on Thursday. Take a look at these links for the latest forecasts and graphics and text format on the top. That comes directly from the National Weather Service. You can monitor precipitation on the links in the middle and the bottom. This includes rainfall at specific areas and precipitation maps. Thanks for joining this video.